we're going to divide a two digit number by a one digit number using a quick pick of equal groups. In this situation, we have 21 divided by three. Since there is no context, we don't know if that three represents equal number of groups or the amount that goes into each of the equal groups. We are gonna choose for this example that the three represents equal groups. So we want the students to think about what is this 21 representing? It's 21 of something. So we can draw 21 objects, a quick pick. We want something that's fast, but clear for them to understand. So they can choose circles, squares, stars, um, tallies if they like, whatever's not gonna be confusing. So I like to draw 21 circles. I, I rather them do circles and like little dots because the dots you can recount a dot on accident easily. So we have five there. Let's do some up here. There's 15. Up oh, 20. All right, so we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21. So now we're going to represent our equal groups. I'm drawing three squares. We want students to draw their groups to be as close to the same size as possible. We don't want one small square and one large square. And then we also want them to draw large enough so that they can place their objects inside of their groups, okay? So we're gonna take these circles and place them into the groups one by one, and then cross them out as we go so that we don't recount. When first starting out this strategy, I want students to pause and think, okay, each of my groups have an equal number. Is there enough left of the object so that they can get more? So yes, there's enough so that each group can get more of the same amount. So as you can see, all of my circles ended up in a group and there's an equal amount in each group. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You want to emphasize that the groups are equal. They should all have the same amount so that we know in each group there are seven circles, which tells us that 21 divided by three equals Seven. Now, we took this number, this amount, and we divided it into equal groups. What would it look like if we wanted the three to represent the number in each group? So now the three is going to represent the number in each group. So I'm going to redraw those 21 circles. And when we're drawing it in front of students, we wanna make sure in our head or when we're drawing, we don't put them into, a, into seven groups automatically because those students don't know that right away. They don't know or have those facts committed to memory where they know that 21 divided by three is seven or 21 divided by seven is three. They don't, they're, they're still discovering that. So you wanna make sure you don't set that up. You want it to look like what they might do when they're drawing. So four, five, six, seven, this is nine. Let's say they do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. A lot of students might just draw it straight across. We have 20, 21. Okay, so now you would want them to group 
those circles. So I'm actually going to switch to color my marker for this example. So for every three circles, I'm going to do a larger circle or a box to represent that group. So I have one, two, three. That is a group. One, two, three. That is a group. One, two, three. That is a group. One, two, three. That's a group. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's not really pretty, but a lot of students are gonna do it this way, whatever makes sense to them. The, the focus is that you want them to see that the groups are equal again and that they're counting the correct amount to go in each group, okay? So we have three in every group, so our groups are equal. The question is how many total groups do we have now? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 21 divided by three equals seven. So 21 divided by three in each group gives us seven equal groups. We took a two digit number, divided it by a one digit number using a quick pick of equal groups. 